and put it in on your thing. I mean, you don't like the colors of the ones you have, so you have all red guys and you want blue guys, you switch them out. Um, uh, the other one is the, the little character from Spore. So Spore is a game where like you can create your own characters and it's really easy to do it. Um, what if you could then print that character you created? So like you have all these experiences with them and then you can print them out and you can have them as a memory or maybe you could print one of these, uh, or not print from the printer, but write one of these NFC chips and stick it on the bottom and now you can like reload that character when you go to your friend's house. Um, inside their version of the game. And I think the sky's really the limit on what we can really do with this, but you know, I was trying to think of different ways that they would integrate with uh, games today. <laughs> so uh, and then the last area, <coughs> big data. I think the big data is a lot different than the other areas, and uh, it's something that we're, we're all kind of struggling to get our hands around right now. But in games, we see people using it in two ways. One is uh, leveraging data for play, and the other one is processing data. So um, in leveraging data, like NASA gave topography data to EA, and they brought real slopes into the SSX snowboarding. So this will uh, save them money in having to like either go there and find out what the slopes were like or imagine their own new slopes, and also it added realism to the game. So they're able to use the actual data from uh, from NASA. Um, Zynga will actually change the gameplay or um, game characteristics based on what players are doing on the fly with statistics. So they get you know, 10 million players playing a game, they find out that 9 million click on a button that they made pink while the 1 million don't click on it and they made it uh, um, blue for those that million. Um, so then they make it pink for everyone. So they can try different things. <laughs> Say, but what if we add this feature? Well, we can add it to 15,000 people, and we have 10 million people coming into play, so we don't really care if that 15,000 don't like it and leave, because we have you know millions more behind them. Uh, and they're, they're doing that, and they're changing the games and making it better for everyone in the long run. Um, a company called Rocket, which actually leveraged the data they're collecting on current students, and they were able to um, figure out how new students would perform their network. So they'd be able to say, before you bother taking the test, we know that you're going to be weak in this area. So let's help you here. Um, and then the process